to you guys about why i decided to give up social media i just i kind of just quit social media about two months ago uh, the first reason why i decided to give up social media is because it was just taking up too much of my time and i know this is like what everyone says but it is the truth it really does take up so much of our day throughout the day no matter what when we're on there especially when we're doom scrolling we're just scrolling for hours and hours and not even noticing how long we've been on the app which is insane the next reason why i decided to give it up is because i started so many hobbies that i absolutely love and i'm just like there would be times where i would just pick or choose to be on social media than doing my hobbies and my hobbies are not cheap okay they are pretty expensive so i'm going to be doing that hobby and i want to do that hobby i don't want to like be on the internet that's always going to be there i I really want to spend more time doing the hobbies and stuff and I want to be a lot more intentional with the things that I allow into my life on a daily basis. The next thing is social media is not giving me what it used to give me. It used to give me so much gratification and that's not what it is now. Now I'm taking in other people's trauma. I'm hearing other people's bad days. I'm hearing about other people's days. I'm seeing things that I never want to see. I remember seeing something about like these neighbors got into an argument and it went downhill from that. It actually traumatized the crap out of me so bad. Like I was so afraid to just like be outside i was afraid to argue with anyone like it was just so scary so things like that is another reason why i'm just like i can't take on these things because no matter how much we try we're seeing this stuff it's going to be stored in our subconscious we're going to have some of these feelings these anxiousness whatever it might be we're going to get that from watching certain things on social media and that brings me to the next thing food i already have a pretty i ain't gonna say pretty strict but it's strict a lot stricter than other people diets i am a pescatarian i used to be a vegetarian and i'm going back to being a vegetarian sometime soon just not yet i'm just seeing so many things and when i see these things on the internet i no longer want to eat these foods and i think that's a big problem considering i'm already pretty strict with what i put in my body like, I love seafood, okay? I love seafood so much, but seeing all these things online, I haven't had, we haven't cooked salmon at our house in so long because I'm just like, all right, babe, I wanna take a break from seafood, from salmon. He was like, why, did you see something on TikTok? And I'm just like, you know what I mean? I'm just like, yes, I did, but that's not the point. The point is, I don't want any of it right now. <laughs> the next one is, I discovered this after I quit social media, but that is my anxiety. My mental health has, it was so like insane um, how much anxiety I had at one point in time. Like it's so weird to think about it because it's only been two months, but the, the calm and the peace that I'm feeling like mentally is such a significant huge change in my life and it's amazing because it's it's allowed me to do certain things that i don't think if i still had that same mindset that i would ever even attempt to do but now i can there's a lot of things that i can do now that i would have never thought to even do back then especially when my anxiety was like at its highest also overthinking uh is in there too my overthinking is not even a fraction of how bad it used to be like when i tell you guys i will like probably say something and i feel like i offended someone so i will replay and replay and replay that moment in my head and i don't know why because it's not like i could change it but i will overthink it so much now if i say something weird to somebody or off to some i feel like it's off to somebody or awkward because i am a very awkward person kind of just don't care now i'm i'm just at a point where i'm just like okay well if they don't say anything then i'm not going to say anything honestly 
quitting social media my brain is clear my mental health is pretty is at a is is good okay it's really good i'm not taking on anyone else's trauma i'm not sad i'm not seeing terrible things from the news i'm not overstimulated i'm not overwhelmed and it, it's literally quite frankly amazing <laughs> like i'm at peace let's say that I'm, I'm pretty much at peace with my life my life isn't boring like in a bad way it's I, if it's boring it's because it's it's calm it's relaxing it's it's peaceful and i've been on social media since i was like 12. you know facebook no what was it Be myspace <laughs> myspace i remember myspace is one of the first things myspace is one of the first things i can remember like as social media that's your adolescent years you know you're going through so many changes you're developing you're you're making different kind of friends like, you're stepping into that cute scary phase of your life in my personal opinion you know once you hit to middle school that's when things start you know to go up a little bit you start seeing certain things that's like truly in a real world you're being exposed to things that you weren't exposed to before and it's just so crazy i've been on social media that long so i really don't know life without social media i think this is a perfect time to find out who i am without it to find out what i actually like doing not what like other people like this is the time where i can figure out my style and the clothes i like to wear and the hobbies i like to do and the things i like to do and the places i like to go without somebody coming on social media and saying you have to go to this place this is what it is this is amazing i'm finding my true authentic self let's just say that those small things you become you start adapting those into the way you speak the way you act things to not have those i can truly just be me and you know if i so happen to say slay and it's out of it's not trending or it's not something people use anymore then so what so be it <laughs> i think if i am going to be that person who i want to want to be or that person i see myself being as a child i think that's who i'm going to be and we will see what happens from here i like not knowing <laughs> it feels good okay it, it just it feels really nice not knowing i mean that kind of sounds bad thank ignorance is bliss it's true <laughs> Some things I'm okay with being ignorant about. I will admit that. I'm happy about that. I don't want to know. Now, that's only to a certain extent, okay? Like, if the world's falling apart, I would like to know. You know, I need a head start to get the things I need to get. I probably should get the things I need to get before I need the things that I need to get. That would make more sense. Always be ready so you ain't got to get ready. I'm loving this new journey. I'm accepting it. I'm becoming who I am, if that makes sense. Or I'm becoming me without any outside interference or input or any of that stuff. And I think that's going to be one of the most beautiful journeys that I've taken in this lifetime for sure, just because there's not many people doing this. like at all i mean i do think there is an influx of people who's deciding to quit social media and it's a very tiny tiny small percentage of people who just don't have it or hasn't had it or never had it um, i'm excited to explore this new life without social media my goal was to just do it for the summer but who knows it might last a lot longer than that if you're a person who's thinking about quitting social media tell me why down below i really would like to know Thank you guys for watching this video if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and give it a big thumbs up okay bye